Well hello folks, welcome to episode 6 of this World Cup Stories series. We've taken charge of Uruguay. Uh, we've got some restrictions where we have to change at least 4 players every single match in, in the starting 11. And things are going really well. Um, we've got all the way through to the quarterfinals after some very creditable performances, including a win against Switzerland in the last 16, which was... Pretty impressive. We beat them 3-1. Looked very good for that. Maybe we're a little bit shaky at the back. More so than we needed to be. But today is the biggest test that we've had so far. We've played Portugal. We didn't lose that match. Probably should have won it. Ended up with a draw. Today we are playing Germany. And uh, it doesn't get much harder than this. What on earth are we going to be able to do? So let's have a little recap of where we are. So the, this is the quarterfinals. The other Four quarterfinals, we have Ecuador against Argentina, and that's the, the match we'll play uh, the winner of if we get through the game against Germany. I know, ridiculous. It doesn't get... I mean, we are... Us and Ecuador are the are the kind of the, the mini sides here. We've got England and France in a quarterfinal, which would be an epic one, and Spain against Brazil. Wow. So, some big, big matches to come. Um, and I'm hoping... Maybe, who knows, maybe we could get through and play Ecuador. That would be a pretty cool semi-final. One that's never happened before. Oh, well, let's have a look at the uh, the squad, shall we? Uh, we've made the changes. So there we go. It's not to be Ecuador lose out to Argentina. Of course, it's Lionel Messi who gets that goal. So the side that we're putting out here, Luis Suarez and Maxi Gomez are leading the line as they have done the last three games. But Ryan Rodriguez, fresh off a decent performance, is in there. We have tweaked things a little bit. Uh, Torreira has come in, uh, Fernandez, and Torreira has moved into a ball-winning midfielder role. So hopefully a little bit more solidity against the quality German lineup. Valverde is also in midfield, and Bentecourt comes in for Vecchino um, because he was looking a little bit tired. At the back, we've also made some changes. Uh, in fact, it's all changed. Mendes is um, out of the side, and Gonzalez goes back there. Cotes maintains his place at centre-back, but Jimenez coming in for... Uh, Araujo, which I can't, I don't, I don't know how to say that. Uh, and Vina back in the side for Oliveira, who was tied uh, with Muslera in goal. So actually, I think it's five changes today rather than four. But many of these were kind of uh, critically important to get right. Let's see how we go. Um, it's a big old match today. I think we've got a decent side out. Um, the only slight risk here is Maxi Gomez, who is looking a little bit tired, but. I don't think we've got an adequate replacement for him in that position who's not about 4,000 years old. Right, what do you think the score's going to be? Are we going to be able to get through this? I want your comments down below. Let me know before you watch the match. Yes, before, before. Right, come on. Out for the national anthems. What can we come up with? So here we go. It's a free kick, actually, to Uruguay here. And Luis Suarez is going to take it off the side of the post. Stays in, but well done. Ooh, what was that? Nothing. Nothing given. Right, Flag at left back here. You will probably notice you don't recognize any of the German, German, the German players. And this is because I'm not entirely sure what's going on. The German team is in, entirely greyed out. There's no German players in this. And I don't know whether that's a licensing thing or what, but it is what it is. I mean, I'm not complaining because I've got some good players, but um, I think they're still a very, very good team irrespective of that. But it does give us more of a chance. Ackerman down the right side. And oh, what? Oh, my God. I mean, it was a cracking tackle, but... How did they not score there? Well, we should be 1-0 down. We're not. But, yeah, let's let's keep going. Right, Vina, uh, the left side, chips it in. Over the top from Maxi Gomez. That was a chance, I feel. 
you know, you look at it, it we have had arguably the better of this so far, but haven't made the most of the chances we've had. We haven't had great chances, but um, yeah, need to be a little bit better in front of goal. Jimenez now, Cotez, who is very good at losing the ball <laughs> at the back. Vina chips it forward. It's uh, interesting pass there from Suarez. Suarez into Torreira playing his first game, I think, of the World Cup. Vina, beautiful ball. And Maxi Gomez, he scores. It's 1 0 to Uruguay. Who saw this one coming? An absolute stonker of a shot um, with his head, a header, some may call it. But look at this. Luis Suarez into Torreira, who plays a beauty of a ball. And Vina onto Maxi Gomez's head and uh, into the back of the net. Very, very well done. I don't think that's the end of it, though. And uh, here come the Germans. Flag. Lemke. Oh, straight in. Ackerman. Look at that. That was dreadful defending. It's just straight after. Three minutes left to go in in front. We just give that up. And look at this. Flag into Boffer. And, oh, what was this? So much space. Absolutely rubbish. So, half time is 1 1. We're playing well. We've given up one chance and they've scored with it, which is a little disappointing. We've got some tired players already on the pitch. Maxi Gomez is looking like he's not going to finish this. Not sure who we're going to bring on for him, though. We'll leave him on for a little bit longer because he has offered stuff, hasn't he, with his head. So Lemke, ball in. Over the top, Bastion. So we get into that time of the of the game. We're going to make a couple of changes here. Luis Suarez is coming off. Edison Cavani coming on. And the other obvious change here is Bentecourt coming off. And Vecchino is coming on. So, uh, just freshening things up a little bit, getting some of those tired legs off the pitch. So, another couple of changes. This time, uh, at left back, Mateus Oliveira is on, and uh, Nandez comes on to replace Valverde. So, uh, yeah, looking, looking, uh, looking tired we are at the minute. It's a bit of a worry. I don't want to go into extra time because I'm not sure if we've got the legs for it the age of this side and it looks like the Germans are just starting to get on top a little bit now and one few uh, highlight opportunities and we've not really seen too much that's straight behind us oh my Muslera saves us there he saves us and you've got to wonder whether our defense is struggling just a little bit uh, I think possibly a change at the back is the last uh, last one we make put Aruna on there we go playing it out nicely I mean Maxi Gomez it's absolutely shattered I think that might be the change to make but who do we bring on we've got options Darwin Nunes uh, Facundo Torres and uh, Nico Lopez when Nico Lopez feels like the better option he's he's the most experienced really there let's do that is, is Nico Lopez relatively okay in the air no he's not <laughs> he's not but it's fine it's fine come on imagine if he scored a goal a late late goal from Nico Lopez well we got to the 90 minute mark we have taken Germany all the way some might say we've been the better side We're looking at xg it's actually probably a fair result to finish 1-1 we've had a lot of shots but not done enough with them so we're going to the dressing room get them to carry on so we've got to half time still one all we've not allowed to make any more subs <sighs> yeah i think we just need to sail into 
the uh, the penalties, maybe. Gonzalez, though. Far post. Can he say something here? Oliveira. Oh, my. What a shot that was. Oh, he would have been a hero if he'd hit that in the back of the net. Oh. It was, it was on, wasn't it? It was on. What? Oh, no. There's a mistake. Got to be offside. Got to be offside, surely. Why do you... You can't be onside like that. No. No, no. No. How? How? What went wrong? Oh, for Pete's sake. I don't even understand that. How have we managed to screw that up? I have to go attacking now. Oh, I can't believe that. I really thought we were getting to penalties. Right, we're moving these guys on to wing backs on attack. I know they're absolutely shattered, but, you know, it's it's what needs to be done. Um, Vecchino, our central midfielder on attack. Uh, yeah, there we go. Come on. Can we fashion one last chance? Come on, Terrera. Ball in. We don't deserve to go out like this. Gonzalez. Come on. Come on, ball in. It's Nico Lopez. Ooh. But not a penalty, apparently. And Cotes has it now. Come on. Inside to Jimenez. Highlight's still going. So there's a chance somewhere in here. Vecchino. Third opportunity. It's a beautiful ball in. Oh, Nico Lopez, mate. You should be doing better than that. <laughs> oh, and there it is. There it is. We're out. We're out. But how? How? What was that goal they scored? I do not understand it. Oh, the lucky bloody Germans. Every time. We absolutely deserve to get to a penalty shootout there. Whether we'd have won through, probably not, because the Germans are unbelievably ruthless when it comes to penalties. But what a mistake at the back to make to give that away. I don't know what we did. I couldn't really see what went on. My God. But a, a sterling effort from the boys. And yeah, we get knocked out in the quarterfinals, but we gave Germany a damn good game. They they only just, only just got through. We certainly didn't deserve to lose, but we have. And we are out at the corner final stages. So, uh, yeah, that is that. Let's just go forward and see who eventually wins the World Cup. Okay, so this is what the final ended up as. Uh, England against Germany. Um, we'll just have a little look how everyone got here. So we've just had, uh, yeah, Brazil won five one against Argentina uh, after uh, England just beat them in the uh, semi-finals. G Germany just about squeaking past Argentina, which makes it even more tragic how close we were to. Um, to get in there. So let's see who wins this, England or Germany. Looking at that, I would suggest that England probably are going to have the edge. And they do quite comfortably. Tammy Abraham, hat trick. Who would have predicted that in the final? But could we have got to this final? And if we had, would it have been a different story? So England win the World Cup again. Um, this time, I'm not managing them. But our Uruguay side so close to qualifying for the semi-finals potentially but yeah so far anyway folks that'll do it this uh, journey with uruguay is over in a couple of days we'll be picking a new nation to manage and we'll be picking a new set of restrictions to live by let me know in the comments what you want to see if there is a restriction that you think should be included um put that down in the comments and we'll look to add that to the uh, the wheel of death Anyway, folks, if you enjoyed this, please like the video, subscribe. I'll see you very shortly. Goodbye.